Now the next step that I need to do is to go and segment this sheet using the multi-cut tool or the uh, add edge loop. And because they are prepared precisely, I can just add a loop and I know that there is a consistent gap between these stickers and decals. If you don't know how to do this, make sure you watch my other video. I will add a link for it. It's a very useful tool in Photoshop. It just automatically sets these stickers and decals up for you in a way that it would guarantee that you have proper gapping and appropriate layout. You get to choose how the grid should look like. Anything you don't need, such as these faces, delete. Also to make things kind of more neat and uh, nice to deal with, um, insert edge loop again and then clean things up like this. All right, now I need to separate them. So, okay, so for such a scenario, I would recommend one of two methods. The first one is by deleting. The other one is by extracting faces. So the first one, which is delete and duplicate. I'm going to duplicate this plane just to keep a safe copy. Okay. Next, I'm going to select the plane, duplicate over and over and over, make multiple copies. And then I'm gonna go here, select everything except for one, delete. Go here, double click, and then deselect. That is even a faster approach. Delete, go here, faces. So this is not necessarily the fastest approach, but um, also another approach you can do is, okay, it's turn for this one. You actually select the one that you wanna keep and then control shift I and then delete. So this is the first approach. My goal of this video is to teach you as many tools as possible. So that's why I'm demonstrating all of these tools. And uh, this is not necessarily the best approach because you can see it's pretty random, but it does the job. So let me take you to the next approach. Select each face, shift right mouse button, and then extract face. Then W, you select another face, hit G on the keyboard to repeat the last command, which is also extract faces. So I'm gonna do that process over and over again. There could be some ways that you can consider, but I find this at least for the amount of faces here. This could be a good practice. It's, it's not perfect. It's kind of relatively exhausting, but um, this is this is what I think would be good. So I'll just go with it. Because even if you separate these faces, Maya would still consider them as just one object. So now I select the object mode and now I have a variety of objects. And now I can play around with these stickers like a child having so much fun and uh, yeah let's move on to the next step